Can microneedling on its own without minoxidil effectively reverse hair loss and promote hair growth? You probably have heard of microneedling to maximize the effects of minoxidil, but if you are like me and prefer natural, safer methods that don't mean you have to use a medication for the rest of your life, then you are in the right place. Think less hassle, less cost, and perhaps even better results. In this video, we're unpacking groundbreaking research that could be your ticket to a chemical-free, effective hair loss solution, offering hope and a healthier approach to regaining thick, healthy hair. I'll also guide you through how to start microneedling safely, from selecting the right tools to determining the best frequency for your sessions. Microneedling on its own without the hassle of daily minoxidil has helped me thicken and fight my hair loss. One microneedling session a week with no other intervention can be enough to reverse hair loss. And I'll tell you right now, not only do the results outperform minoxidil, but you can be assured of no nasty side effects. Heads up, if you're looking to embark on your healthy hair journey, download a free copy of my ebook, The Ultimate Guide to Hair Loss. It's full of science-backed strategies to fight your hair loss naturally for vibrant, healthy hair. Just hit that link below and start your journey to thicker hair. But wait, can microneedling really replace minoxidil? Let's dive into that now and see what the research says. Let's rewind to a groundbreaking study from India. So they divided guys into two camps, one with just minoxidil and the other combined daily minoxidil with weekly microneedling with a 1.5 millimeter derm roller. They didn't apply minoxidil on their derm roller days, so the treatment lasted for four months. So the results, after four months, the combination group saw an amazing fourfold increase in hair growth compared to the minoxidil only crew. The men in the minoxidil group had an average regrowth of 22 new hairs per centimeter squared in the crown area compared to 91 new hairs per centimeter squared in the combination group. So just one microneedling session a week was enough to boost the results of minoxidil by a factor of 4.1 times. And this different in hair counts that was evident under the microscope was also visible to the naked eye. And it wasn't just under the microscope. Even a dermatologist who was kept in the dark about who got what treatment noticed major improvements in the combination group. I'll be honest, when I first delved into these studies, I was skeptical, but the consistent result across diverse research changed my perspective. So we know that microneedling triples the effectiveness of topical treatments, but what about testing microneedling alone? Fast forward to 2022, and a study from China can help us answer this question. They divided 71 participants into three groups, 5% minoxidil only, microneedling only, which consisted of microneedling sessions once every three weeks with a total of eight sessions. And lastly, the combination treatment, standard daily minoxidil plus one microneedling session every three Three weeks on the day of the microneedling treatment this group skipped the minoxidil treatment so that's one thing to note don't use minoxidil on the day that you microneedle the participants ages range from 20 to 60 with stages 3 to 6 on the Norwood scale so about moderate to advanced hair loss so the result group 1 minoxidil alone had an average of 14 new hairs per centimeter squared group 2 microneedling alone had an average of 21 new hairs and group 3 3 microneedling in combination with minoxidil had an average of 14 new hairs per centimeter squared. So the combination group had nearly three times as many hairs as the monoxide monotherapy group, about 2.8 times to be precise. Remember, the original 2013 study had found a 4.1 times advantage for the combination treatment, but that was with weekly microneedling. This study had a microneedling session once every three weeks, but the key new information we got from this Chinese study were the results of men in group two who, microneedling alone, remarkably, these men had one and a half times the regrowth of the minoxidil only group. So just one microneedling session every three weeks outperformed daily minoxidil. I mean, this is pretty groundbreaking. But what if you stop doing these treatments altogether? That leads us to the most fascinating part. So the study also included a six month follow-up period where the men had no treatment for their hair loss after the six months were up. The microneedling group kept their new hair better 
after the treatment stopped. So 90 of the men who had been treated with minoxidil alone lost all of their new hair. The men in the two microneedling groups had better attention. 10% of these men lost all of their newly formed hair, about 70% had mild to moderate hair loss, and 20% retained most of the new hair. So not only is microneedling superior to minoxidil as a standalone treatment, but results also tend to last longer. So what makes microneedling such a superstar? It is a 360 attack. So it enhances absorption of topical treatments like minoxidil. It stimulates hair growth all on its own, probably by releasing hair growth factors, IGF-1, and breaking up fibrosis around the hair follicles. The micro injuries trigger the healing process in the body, increasing collagen and blood flow, flowing nutrients to the area, and reactivating dormant follicles helping them to stay in the resting or growth phase for longer. Based on these studies, how can you apply microneedling effectively? So to maximize your hair growth safely, let's talk about choosing the right derm roller and setting up a realistic safe regimen. So let's just get into it. So step one, I call it the depth dynamics. This is about making sure you're picking the right needle depth. From the studies, we know that 1.5 millimeter derma rollers were used. So I would really recommend using a 1.5 millimeter derma roller. I will link one in the description. You also want to use real needles. And I talk a lot about this on my channel. Fake needle discs made out of titanium have triangular knife shape. So they cut and slice the scalp rather than going in a precise incision. So they are very dangerous to use. Really recommend getting a real needle derma roller, 1.5 millimeter made out of stainless steel. And stainless steel is used in medical surgery, so you know you're in good hands if you're going to be using the same thing that surgeons use. So you've got your derma roller, that's the most important part. You've got the safe needle derma roller with individual stainless steel needles. Okay, so we're on to step two. I call this step germs be gone. You want to get rid of germs both on the scalp and the derma roller. So you want to prepare everything, disinfect everything. I use rubbing alcohol, a soft bristle toothbrush to get in between the needles as well because it does build up with skin cells and bacteria. So you want to get in the nooks and crannies and you want to make sure your scalp is clean. So no products used, no gel. If you can exfoliate your scalp a few days before so that there isn't any dandruff that you'll be pushing into the scalp. Step. Three, the art of the roll. So this is the technique of using the derm roller. So you wanna make sure you are parting your hair in sections. The benchmark you wanna achieve when you are rolling is pinpoint bleeding. Pinpoint bleeding shows that you have gone past the epidermis into the dermis where collagen is produced. The technique to using the derm roller is basically going in one direction and lifting the derm roller after each pass. So going over each direction diagonally, vertically, horizontally, like I'm showing you here, to make sure you are fully getting every little bit of your scalp. Step four recovery rituals so this is what you need to do after you've derm rolled so you've microneedled great you really want to make sure that you are protecting your scalp from bacteria and to ensure that you're not going to introduce any harmful chemicals during this time so no washing your hair for at least 72 hours and 24 hours for things like minoxidil now there is a study that has shown that rosemary oil is just as effective as minoxidil but without the side effects and i use rosemary oil for my hair loss the super roots hair oil has rosemary and a lot of other ingredients that are backed by science so you want to make sure you're using a nourishing cold press organic oil that is not full of any chemicals that could affect your scalp so there you have it armed with knowledge and options you're now ready to tackle hair loss in a way that suits you best don't forget to grab your free guide in the description below and until next time i will see you later bye